getting live visuals right now and that's why you might find the camera a little bit jerky because we are just awaiting exactly uh, what next will happen but these are live pictures that is coming in from Kodankulam the what you see really on your television screens let me quickly describe you exactly what is happening if you haven't really tracked uh, the developments over the last few hours it is because of uh, the protests in Madhya Pradesh the Jal Satyagraha has inspired the protesters in Kodankulam as well and they have decided to take to the seas they have decided to go in boats they have decided to just walk into the sea in an attempt to protest what is interesting is that the police this time is saying that they are not going to do anything they're going to stand by and watch as long as the protesters remain at a safe distance from the nuclear power plant they will allow this protest to continue is that what is happening or is there now a change in stance Premada now joins us from ground zero Premada, we are seeing how people are now approaching the sea uh, wading into it walking into it what are they going to do are they going to take their boats as well or are they just going to stand on the shores uh, perhaps half submerged in the seas and what is the police saying at this point of time you can just see our visuals are showing that slowly crowd is gathering here you can see a lot of people have gathered here they have put a rope across to ensure that women and children do not go beyond that point there are also some you can see some of the guards which the villagers themselves have uh, arranged you know to save someone if they if they drown or something mm. slowly they have started the march from the church where they were protesting and they are moving towards this uh, place that is near the shoreline and they might reach this place anytime I spoke to police officials just a while ago and they are saying they are not going to come anywhere near this place. Mm. You can, if you can, uh, if you can ask, it's just breaking in, breaking news, if you can see, uh, you, you can see the projectors have started coming in. My camera person is showing you those yes. visuals of the protesters slowly walking in and they are coming near the shore, their shoreline. They will just come, they are shouting slogans against the Kud and Kulam power plant. They would come in full strength and assure they have four major demands, Akash. Number one, scrapping of this plan to release of those 51 persons have been arrested so far after that violent two days back. Mm -hmm. Number three, to remove all the charges against them. And number four, to give rehabilitation for those whose houses were ransacked in that alleged police brutality so that these are the four demands mm. it was a dramatic uh, announcement that was made by Uday Kumar from his undisclosed location yesterday and we should remember this club the P-Man organization this intense protest has been on for almost a year now when yes. it started in the last one year it has intensified of course, we know the struggle began in 1989, but the people in this small village had no clue about it. Yes. But slowly the momentum started building and you can now see them coming in full strength. The, I think if I can translate what they are shouting slogan, mm. they are saying that they stop the fuel filling. That is that immediate uh, uh, demand. You can see some of them with a life-saving jacket, children especially. Yes. Complete preparation has gone in. You can see the life-saving jacket, life-saving jacket that the children are uh, wearing. They are shouting that fuel filling should be stopped immediately. Okay. And we know that fuel filling was going to begin a another two or three days in Kudankula nuclear power plant. If I can ask my camera person to zoom in and show the nuclear power plant, it's hardly two, two kilometers. Mm -hmm. the bad, the bad happening. Okay, now we are just, if it's reached its climax, people are jumping into the sea. My camera person is showing you the visuals of people jumping into the sea. All of them are getting into the sea. You can see kids swimming across. That is the, you see the sea of balloons and black flags. That is the boundary mark. All of them have been advised not to move beyond that point. You can see okay. all of them moving towards the sea. You can see more women in fact. This village is in the Karai traditionally is a women dominated village. You have more women who are the decision makers here in this village. And that is why this movement apparently was so strong because the concern touched the women, concern of the nuclear plant safety touched the women and that is taken this uh, project, that has taken this movement uh, to this uh, level now.